Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 16, Karaoke Night. You look worried. Did you receive a bad news? Katie, are you there? You lost. Are you okay? What's wrong? I'm gonna pretend it's nothing. It's nothing. George was just asking me about a wine pairing. A cabernet from Frank will be perfect. Did I miss something? What are you talking about? Sorry, I have to go out for a minute and talk to George. We have an important client today and he's a little anxious. Maybe it's because he has a demanding boss. That's for sure, just go ahead. Will you not believe this? You will not believe this, Megan's father died last year. I am a little ashamed not to have found that out myself, but you did a good job. It was actually a friend of mine who found out what I told you not to talk about this with anyone. I'm sorry, but don't worry, nobody will say anything. But I already told you about this. Nobody? How many friends did you tell this to? I want to know exactly what you told them. I just asked them to investigate Edward Ben. I didn't tell them why. Can't you just arrest Megan and Ringo and get it over with? It's not that simple. We need to catch them red-handed. At least we have an advantage this time. Thanks to the ship, we know the plan. They plan to make their move in three days. I won't stop until we can catch them. You can count on me. You can count on me for anything you need. Megan and Ringo have been using us all this time. I'm very angry about that. George, hurry up. People want their corn and lobster soup. I also need a risotto and... Are you even listening to me? I just told Katie about Edward Ben. What did she say? Some, some nonsense about wines? Maybe she's drunk? Maybe after all, she's on vacation. What if something bad happened to her? At that amazing resort? I doubt it. The worst thing that could happen to her is for a coconut to fall on her head. Yeah, that's fatal. You always minimize everything. I was the one who talked to her. I'm telling you, she's not well. She sounded tense and worried. Well, okay, but that doesn't mean something serious happened to her. She's not the kind of person who gets alarmed over nothing. That's true though. But it's also true that you spoke to me in the same tone yesterday. Yesterday? What do you mean? When you burned the pork meat? Oh. You're so weird, Sue. I can't deny that. At least you have a sense of humor. Imagine I didn't. I wouldn't be able to deal with all this. Well, anytime you need to laugh a little, here I am. I wonder where Katie went. What's wrong? What song will you be singing for us, Adam? Hmm, some hit from 80s, a rock classic. We have an infinite number of songs. Ask for anything you like. I'm not into singing, thanks. That's what's fun about this. Anybody can sing. I said no, thanks. What is it? Why are you such a bad mood? Katie told me about the message you exchanged with Connor. I think it's horrible if you want to split up a couple. But don't even try, it won't work. It was just a game, we weren't serious. Don't underst underestimate me, please. I don't need your excuses. 
I'm so sorry. I assure you I won't make any moves on you. Will Kana try anything with Katie? No, not either. Katie just disappeared. So, did he? Is he not here? No, I didn't see him leave. But he's gone. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean they're together, right? I have a bad feeling about this. I better get back to the karaoke before Megan and Rigo start suspecting something. Okay, but remember, you must not tell your boyfriend about any of this. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. He would believe, he would never believe his ex-girlfriend is involved in something like this anyway. The worst thing that could happen is for him to try to clear things up with her. Did someone knock? We can't be seen together. Stay here and don't make any sound. I'll take care of it. Sue, I can talk now. What is it? I don't know. You tell me. You ask us to investigate that guy, Edward? That guy turned out to be dead and you don't tell us anything. It's a long story and I can't talk right now. Why not? What's wrong? i supposed to be silent. I would never admit this to George, but I'm worried sick about you. I'm sorry I didn't want to alarm you guys. I'm just not good at this. At what? Come on, trust me. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can tell you as a safety precaution. I need to tell someone. I need someone else to know the truth. Katie, hello? Are you there? Talk to me, please. Well, okay then. Yes, I might need help from Sue the Terrible. Okay, I'll tell you, but you'll think I'm crazy. Adam's ex, Megan, managed this is short. What? What a bad luck on your romantic vacation? That's not all. She uses the resort as a facade to smuggle emeralds. And she wants to use Adam and me for her crimes. What? This is all a movie you saw, right? I wish it's all real. And now I'm assisting a covert FBI agent. Wow, I never would have imagined something like that. The agent insisted that I don't tell anyone. But I'm afraid something might have happened to us without anyone else knowing the truth. How about coming back to New York? We can't. Just promise me you'll be there for me if something happens. Of course, just call me if you need anything. Can I tell George? Yes, do. Thanks. I feel a lot better now that I told you about this. I have to go now. Goodbye, Sue. Why hasn't Connor come back from the hall? Tell me where my girlfriend is. I'm a drunkard, not a wizard. Katie is not answering my message. And I can't find her anywhere in the hotel. Do you think I'm keeping her in my pocket? Or in your pants? I've never liked you, Connor. You know that. Too bad we could be great friends. I wouldn't be your friends even if my life depended on it. Think again, Adam. I've had enough of you for today. Goodbye. Thanks for the information. We'll keep in touch. So, what did they say? Tell me. We better get back to the karaoke before anyone suspect anything. Bad news. According to our partners, we have FBI agents at the hotel. What? Who? They don't know, but we have at least two agents. There's no time to lose. We have to find out who they are. And neutralize them. You mean kill them. Adam! We had to go call a technician. The sound is horrible. I'm going to be straightforward about this. I don't like that kind of person at all. He's always nosing around. Nosing around? 
Spying, haven't you noticed? Are you going to tell me there's nothing strange about him? Congratulations, Adam. You just put a man's life at risk. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys on our next journeys.